A controversial gas extraction process has been identified as the probable cause of two small earthquakes in Britain. Fracking, as it's commonly known, is used in many parts of the world, including New Zealand. Tony Reid reports. A protest on the other side of the world that has implications right here in New Zealand. Alarming, alarming. And the reason I say it's alarming is because there are two companies at the moment who are doing seismic mapping in Hawke's Bay with a view to fracking. Fracking is the process of pumping water, sand and chemicals underground at high pressure. Its technical name is hydraulic fracturing. It forces tiny gaps in the rock to expand. That releases gas, which travels up to the surface, to be captured. In the United States, fracking is controversial, with claims that it leads to groundwater contamination. It bubbles and hisses when it comes out. <laughs> I won't drink it. It even led to results like this, when a drilling mistake saw water contaminated with methane gas. And when the ground began to rumble in Lancashire in the UK, where fracking was being carried out, the drilling company asked for a report. The just-released findings are startling. We analysed um, two seismic events that occurred near Blackpool. And the first part of the study was that we found out that these events were actually caused by fracking operations conducted by Quadrilla. In New Zealand, Shell, Greymouth Petroleum and Todd Energy all carry out fracking in Taranaki. And an industry body says this shouldn't put them off. Um, an earthquake of 2.2, uh, you'd be very lucky to feel that. I, I have no concerns. I think it's, it is generally regarded with proper management and consents. Uh, it's regarded as a very manageable, uh, safe activity. No one from the gas and oil companies would appear on camera today, but one executive told me there's as much chance of a major fracking disaster in New Zealand as there is of the Auckland Harbour Bridge falling down. But Stuart Nash is hugely concerned about fracking. He even let slip it's part of Labor's environmental policy due to be released on Sunday. And what that policy will call for is a major study on the risks of fracking. Fracking just became an election issue. Tony Reid, 3 News.